So the fastest way to answer this question is to understand the functionality of time being linear in that you have come here as your incarnated version, your incarnated being into a time-space reality, yes, where time does seem to be linear or, or is for your experiencing. For you, as far as you know, you were a child, you did grow, your body changed and evolved as you came into adolescence and then into adulthood. You have the recollection of things happening in a certain order. You can confirm some of these things, correct? Your memories are different than everyone you have met, but you yes. can confirm some of these things with your relatives or with people that you have known for a long period of time and said, wasn't it this year that we went on that holiday? Wasn't it that year that that thing happened and you broke your leg? And they said, yes, yes, it was that. No, it was right before Christmas. Yes, it was right after Christmas. <laughs> and they confirmed this with you. You have a coherence to your ability to interact. This is because time does exist relating to separation. You need some frame of reference to be able to communicate what has occurred or what is the information in which you may maintain this idea of separation. If all of a sudden time were to become completely nonlinear, you can imagine the chaos that would occur for the majority of humanity in that you are simultaneously now as you are in your adult form and the child that you were. How could you possibly marry those two concepts together? It does serve, however, to know this so that you can break free, if you so choose, from the linearity of your life and play more freely with your abilities to time travel within your own consciousness, within your own mind. And for example, if there is some childhood trauma, travel back to that child and be with that child as if you had manifest in their reality and were holding them when their mother, for example, told them they were a rotten little brat. So... <laughs> You are able to do certain things in a nonlinear existence that you are not able to do in a linear one that are related to your own experience and also, yes, to the experience of the collective. If you understood deeply that there is no true history, then you truly would be able to learn from your experiences and your past because you would know that they are simultaneously occurring in this now. Instead, you have this linear idea that something, for example, a war has ended and therefore, yes, it has the potential of occurring again, but what are the chances of that? And you forget very easily what you have already learned. What you already do know within yourself is that war does really not have any wonderful functionality within your collective. So there are benefits, and yes, there are issues with this. In terms of travel, for example, non-linearity or breaking the time-space barrier or understanding how to do so on a temporary level would facilitate things such as teleportation. In terms of interaction with other beings, it could be positive or negative depending upon how one would choose to use it. Another secret about your technology is that yes they are permission slips but they are only available to you as you become ready to have responsibility for them which in the terms of humans has not been documented as something that occurs very easily in other words you get new technology new permission slips for desires that you have but your desires are not and pure is not the correct word but your desires are not entirely based upon knowing that all is one. In fact, many of your desires are based upon the augmentation of the separation that you are already feeling. So in terms of bending time-space reality, it is unlikely that you will achieve this until you are consciously responsible for the effects of it. That said, you may also achieve it and it be as a collective decided to be the technology or the will that does eventually create the demise of your species. So there is much to ponder, much in the same way that when atoms were being played with, the intention was not originally towards destruction. In fact, it was towards generating heat to be able to provide more comfort to humanity. And yet with some irresponsibility of the application of that technology, which again was simply a permission slip to have 
more of an understanding of isness or the isness that you are creating, there has been a halt on what can be done with that technology. So you are in an interesting turning or choosing point as a species.